Hi all, guys. I'm back to you people. I'm Guru here. Just I wanted to explore with you people about uh, more about uh, interview uh, point of view. Okay. So what you need to explain, how you, how you need to explain about your profile means if you have your profile, okay, you don't know how to explore that profile in front of a technical panel. So what is your content of your profile? What exactly it is there? Which project you have mentioned first? Okay, so which project you are involved and what kind of questions they may ask you in the project point of view. Okay, so these are the things which I would, I would like to discuss with you people today. So for example, XYZ person, he came for an interview and I have seen his profile. Now I would like to ask him, okay, can you tell me about your project, which project you have involved and what is your role and responsibility? Okay, what kind of what kind of things he can explain from his project point of view? So, what is what exactly the role he has played in the in that particular project, and what is his responsibility? What kind of responsibility he has taken to handle the project? Okay, so how he is communicating with the customers? So how he is sending a daily status report? How he is sending a weekly status report? What kind of defect he has raised? So what are the challenges he has faced? So let me discuss all those things in the in this session. And uh, we, will, we will make sure that one person, how he should explore himself in front of a technical panel is really important. So what exactly his profile contains. So that, that is the most important once you, once you go for an interview. Okay, for example, if he has a one project, how best he is going to explain about his project. Okay, for example, he should tell them, okay, sir, I am working on the finance project. So in the finance project, I was handling, uh, I was handling one of the module, like admin module. And in that admin module, my rule was to design the, to design the uh, scenario, to maintain the RTM, to design the test cases and execute them and maintain the RTM till that to report the defect and once the defect is fixed and once it is come back to us, we are doing retesting and regression testing and I am sending a daily status report and every day we have a customer's calls or else we have a scrum calls. This is his role. What exactly the role he has played? He has explained them. And what are the questions they may ask him? Okay, if, if they ask him, okay, you are executing the test cases. Tell me per day how many test cases you are going to execute. This is a typical question. How he need to hit them back. Correct, right. So he should not tell like, ah, okay, I have executed 50 test cases or 150 test cases. No, they will they will catch him. Okay, if you are executing 50 test cases, okay, how, how do you confirm the 50 test cases you have been executed? You should not tell the count of that particular test cases how many you have executed. You should tell them, sir, Execution of test cases is depending on the domain knowledge, how much domain knowledge I have and how much experience I have and what is the flow of the functionality. If the functionality flow is really typical, I may execute less test cases. If the functionality flow is straightforward, I may execute more test cases and I am how old I am in that domain. How old I am in that domain in the sense, how many years I have spent in that domain. How much functionality I know. Depending on all these criteria, I can expect more test cases to be executed. If I am totally new to the project, I, I don't know which domain it is. I may ex execute less, less what the people are expecting from me. I, if, if the domain is totally new for me, so I need to understand the domain first. Then I need to understand the test cases first. Then I need to start my work. It may initially, the less test cases I may execute. Going forward, when I, once I'm mingling with the domain, right, my test cases, my I may execute my test cases more. Day by day, execution may execution rate may get increased. Okay, if your project manager is telling you to meet your target, imagine that you know the domain and everything you know as well. So if your project manager is telling you, can you execute 100 test cases per day? What do you will do in that situation? Yes, sir, I may execute 100 test cases per day, but I don't know the server. Server problem may come down. Server may be down. Who knows? We, we don't know about 
the server if server is down we wanted to make sure that we wanted to make the node from this duration to this duration server is not available my productivity will come down my productivity may come down i don't know like when the server is go down and when the server is go up this is one thing and i may not get the build on time if i am not getting the build on time how should they expect how should they expect me to execute 100 test cases per day sir it depends on the situation depends on the condition i may execute my test cases this is the beautiful answer you need to give them and you should not tell them like this is what the test cases this is what the things i am executing guys you, you guys you people are with me you are getting my point so you should you should slowly you should tell him answer in such a way that you should take him in your direction you should not go with his direction tell him interested answer so that he he is a curiosity to ask those those questions where you knows well drag him in your way time should get pass and your answer should be more valid guys you, you people are with me time should pass and your answer should be more valid so these are the good techniques guys for an interview purpose i would like to guide you but before going for an interview right you should know the real work experience how one project will be executed guys this is very important how you wanted to execute one project end to end flow what kind of testing process you are going to follow agile methodology process you are going to follow unless and until you execute one testing project you cannot you cannot justify your experience you cannot justify yourself very confidently to the interviewer interviewer will look into your confidence level how confident you are and interviewer don't know which project you have executed he will concentrate what how much confident you are and how best you are hitting him back guys there are the best methods the best project i would like to work with you and i would like to guide you what exactly and how exactly we are going to do it and join with me i would like to help you out thank you guys thanks for listening my this video it it may help you out in longer time and please keep in track with me and join with me for the live project work which i am going to start recently within a one week i am going to start my project work with the students where they will have a two axis requirement axis everything is ready for them and just they need to work with me every day they will get a guidance how to work on the project i am going to guide them thank you guys i am very thankful to you you have listened my video so uh, really i trust me I'm very thankful to you people for listening my video. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We'll meet once again.